Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith. I'm a registered EEG technologist. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about an experiment that my brother and I are running on our EEG software. So if you're unfamiliar EEG, all that is is a bunch of wires uh, put on the patient's scalp and to record their brain activity, done mostly for patients who have seizures. And these things called artifacts show up on the EEG. And artifact is just a fancy word for anything that's not brain activity that's showing up on the EEG. So it makes sense to want to remove those things. So for example, if the patient is tense, muscle activity will be on the EEG covering up the brain waves. Uh, if the patient is like fluttering their eyes, blinking, that'll show up on the EEG. And many other artifacts show up on the EEG and we wanted to have the ability to remove these artifacts. Now with updated computer technology, uh, I mean, it's obvious to me, but it doesn't make sense why this isn't installed in every single EEG software system. So I said, hey, we'll just make our own. We'll just make our own since it's so obvious to me. So we did it. And now we have to test the effectiveness of it. So just based on visual inspection, yeah, it works. It works really well. But when you present something to the FDA to get clearance for a medical device, um, you can't just say, hey, hey, FDA guys, um, this looks good, right? No, it's a little bit more in depth than just showing them and them saying, oh yeah, it looks good, Jared, looks good. The FDA is a rigorous inspection of our medical device and we have to prepare for that. So the FDA is gonna want numbers. They're gonna want numbers. They're not gonna just be like, oh yeah, looks good. No, they're gonna want a specific number. And the way to get that specific number is through this experiment that my brother and I are setting up. So this is the beginning of the experiment. So what you're gonna need is first a clean EEG with essentially no muscle artifact on it. So here's the EEG that we found that is essentially clean. There's a little bit of muscle activity, especially a little bit in the frontals or whatever. Before we do the actual experiment, we'll we'll filter that out or find an even cleaner EEG. But this is just uh, the idea behind it. So we're we're essentially taking our clean EEG and putting muscle artifact on top of our clean EEG. And the reason for doing this is on regular EEGs, we, you don't know how much muscle artifact is on the EEG unless you put it there in the first place. So we are creating. I guess kind of like a simulated simulated EEG, kind of a fake EEG that we're making um, with just a clean EEG and we're putting a specific amount of muscle artifact on the EEG and we're gonna test our software and have it remove this muscle that artifact that we placed on the clean EEG. And hopefully after our software filters it out, it'll just be the clean EEG that we started out with. Since we know how much mu exactly how much muscle and exactly what the clean EEG looks like, we can compare it to other options like the high frequency filter or the low pass filter. That is sometimes used to filter out muscle activity, but it also filters out brain activity as well. So it's not the ideal solution. Our specific artifact reduction software is the ideal solution. So now that we have this muscle artifact, I put it on our clean EEG, and there was a little bit of a problem. So our experiment, this is how science goes, guys, at least in my short career of being in the science field. Um, you just try a bunch of things, and they're not gonna work at first, but you just iterate to where it does work. Eventually, you just have to keep on trying. Try, try, try. So. When we tried to put just muscle artifact on the clean EEG, it wasn't just muscle artifact. There was actually a burst of brain activity in the muscle artifact. So we were putting muscle artifact on the clean EEG and also a high amplitude burst of actual brain activity on it as well. So it looked a little bit like this and that's not gonna cut it for our experiment. Like I thought we could isolate just the muscle activity clearly, but on that EEG, but it didn't work out that way. And um, we're gonna use a different section of EEG and then take some muscle activity from that one 
and then see if we can get some better results because this is this as it is right now is not going to fly it's it it's it's a work in progress we're setting up this experiment and then we're going to get an exact number and we can compare it to the high frequency filter slash the low pass filter whatever you like to call it and we'll see exactly with a number how much better is our muscle artifact reduction software compared to the regular filters that are out there that is a very important question that i'm very curious and want to answer but it won't be answered on this video because our experiment is still in progress as you can see and but this is the general idea behind it and this is this is what i've been doing guys this is what what i've been up to so hope you guys like this make sure you hit the like button if you're excited to see how good is the artifact reduction software really how good is the ion artifact reduction software we are yet to see make sure you subscribe so you see how good it is i, I gotta figure this out i gotta figure this out i want an actual number behind it rather than just saying oh yeah it looks good right it looks good but we're gonna get an actual number behind it we're gonna get some real statistics and we're gonna prove that it is actually state-of-the-art technology by numbers not just yeah it looks good so thank you all for watching make sure you subscribe hit the like button and i will see you all my friends on the next eeg video